Hello everybody. I'm just uh, going to show you guys how to go from a black and white sketch to color. It's a pretty simple process. It's uh, I don't know, it doesn't involve that much knowledge of Photoshop. It's just more or less if you can render out forms because it has to be a uh, decently rendered character. Like what I'm doing right now is just a quick sketch I did just to show uh, value, how much value range you need to actually have this work. Um, I know it's not like the best process really, but it helps me, or it helped me learn values really quickly, and that's why I started using it, and now I use it just because it's uh, a really easy process. It's really quick. Well, anyways, so here we are. Let's uh, I s open a new layer, and I'm changing the layer type to color, that little tab at the top. And uh, now I'm just going to sketch it in. Just choose a simple, uh, I don't know, like a medium, a red tone. Just sketch it in. That's 100% opacity on the brush, 100% opacity on the layer. So that's pretty much all you do. You, you, I just block them in. I block in the colors on the character. And then I'll add like a general tone on top on another color layer. But anyways, I'm just showing you right now what it looks like. And this, I changed the opacity on the actual color layer to 69%. And I was just showing, you know, those are two separate tones. There's no blending between them. So now I'm blending it just to show that it, you know, it reads differently. Because it just, because the color layer doesn't add anything except for color. It just changes your value range to color, basically. I mean, it doesn't, it's not like an overlay layer where it'll blow it out, saturation, whatever. So anyways... Going back to it, sped this one up a bit. So I changed the color layer, and now I'm going to choose like a greenish yellow tone. And this is 100% opacity on the brush, and it's a hard brush, so it has hard edges. And I'm just filling in, you can do this with a hard round brush. Again, this is a color layer, filling the whole thing in with one tone, this green yellow tone. And then I'm going to play with the opacity of the layer. I turned it down to 25%. It just looks better that way. It's duller. It's more realistic. It doesn't look that great because this is a really quick sketch. And if you hear noises in the background, that's my kitty and my puppy. <laughs> they won't stop playing with things. They're adorable. And anyways, I made a new color layer. And I'm using the uh, soft round brush. And I chose a red tone. So I'm going to put it on the parts where the skin, where the you know the blood will show through. Most like the nose around the lips and the cheeks around the eyes. Just this is a monster. You know, it'll show through a little bit more. So it's spooky. <laughs> and anyways, I'm adjusting the adjusted the opacity on that actual layer, so it reads better, looks more realistic. And now I'm going to play with uh, adjustment layers. I'm using the color balance adjustment layer. Just playing around, you know. It's easier to use the adjustment layers because you can just go in and uh, you can actually turn the opacity down and use the layer mask that's right next to it. It's the white square. You just click on there and you can actually draw out the parts using black or white. You use black to draw out the parts you don't want to be changed, and white to draw them back in. So, like, if the whole picture was messed up, and you just wanted to color adjust one part, you use an adjustment layer, which is the circle on the bottom right on the layer thing, and it's the half black, half white. What you do is you click the white box, you know, like I'm going to do it right now. So, yeah, you click that. And then, like I said, you draw out the parts you don't want to be affected. So, if you didn't want, like, the sky to be affected, you draw that out, or, you know, you know, here you go, it's just what it looks like. You draw it out so certain parts are affected, other parts aren't, and then you can turn the opacity on that again, up or down, depending on what you, how much you want the uh, change to affect the image. So anyways, there's a selective color and the color balance there. There's so two adjustment layers. Again, that's the circle, half black, half white. And it's really easy to make quick adjustments on your image and 
you know, get rid of them. Because if you use if you use them regularly, it messes up like the whole image. You can't go back and change that. Just threw something at my cat that I totally missed. But that's good because now he's running. Anyways, there we go. I'm using the I used just I just used the brightness contrast adjustment layer. You know, but that's but those are just the easy way to adjust the whole image without making any serious changes. You can go back in and you know do really simple things like changing the tones or whatever, and not have to worry about having to repaint everything. So it's cool. So now I'm just using an overlay layer to change that background light to a blue tone. You know, just trying to add some more tones in there. But anyways, I mean, this is... You know, you can get you can get more complicated with it, but I mean, as it is right now, it's just a simple sketch. And, uh, you know, you have to have your values down, again, for all this to work, right? Especially the beginning stage with the color layers and the overlays and adjustments and stuff. Like, it just won't look good if you don't know your values. So it takes a lot of practice to really get that up. So yeah, I hope you learned something. If you have any other questions, you feel free to go to my blog. It's at www.daveraposa.com and you can just post whatever on there. You know, ask me. You know how I go from color to a painting on top of it or the rest of my process. I'll try and cover everything in videos because, you know, you guys can favorite this and watch it anytime. You don't have to keep rereading paragraphs and whatever. So, yeah, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.